What's up you guys? It's Sleepy BB and I'm back with another cozy games list. Today I'm going to be going over 10 cozy cooking games. I feel like it can be hard to find the right kind of cooking game, so I tried to find something for everyone in this list, and I'm doing something a little different today. The first few games are going to be new games that you can go play today, and the second half of the list is going to be upcoming games that you can look forward to. So let's get started! If you want a touching narrative served with your cooking, Venba is the perfect game to check out. Venba is a short, two-hour, story-focused cooking game where you'll play as an Indian mom who immigrates to Canada with her family in the 1980s. Throughout your time playing, you'll follow along with the family's life story, restoring lost Indian family recipes along the way. The cooking mechanics are puzzle-based, so you'll piece together the recipe step-by-step. Venba touches on subjects such as family, love, and loss, so keep the tissue box nearby for this one. Next we've got Pico, a cozy cute crafting game where you're brewing up some tea for the local cats. You're the newest resident in town and you're opening up a tea shop where you'll learn the secrets of tea making rituals and come up with endless combinations. You'll discover seven distinct tea houses and meet 10 unique characters with their own personality and tea preferences that you'll learn through one-on-one -on -one conversations. The creativity doesn't stop at the tea though because you'll get to decorate and customize your tea house and home. Pico is currently in early access on Steam, so there's bound to be more updated content in the future. Up next is Dave the Diver, a casual adventure game where you'll explore the deep sea by day and manage a sushi restaurant by night. You'll cook up food and craft some cocktails for your patrons in the restaurant. Dave the Diver is much deeper than a cooking game though because there's tons of other content to explore with new mini games appearing as you progress in the game. The game has an overwhelmingly positive review status on Steam, so it's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of adventure cooking RPGs. Next is Catch and Cook Fishing Adventure, a to-the-point, exploration-based fishing and cooking game. Catch and Cook takes place entirely on a boat, so if you're familiar with the game Dredge, think of that style of gameplay. You'll sail around the ocean, discovering new areas to catch fish and then cook them at your very own restaurant. Recipes, of course, are not supplied, so you'll have to discover the correct combinations through classic trial and error, which I think is half the fun of cooking games. Our first upcoming game is Chef RPG, which is exactly as its name suggests. Chef RPG will put you in the shoes of a budding chef on a culinary adventure. You'll revive the restaurant La Sequoia in the charming White Ash Harbor seaside town. The game will have you hunting, harvesting, and shopping for ingredients, so there's plenty of exploration to do. Along the way, you'll meet and befriend the locals who will become your customers that you'll want to impress at your restaurant. The game was on Kickstarter and all the goals have been met, so you'll experience additions such as food research facilities, greenhouse farming, an expanded cave network, tons of decorations to customize, and an oceanside fishing platform. The developer of Chef RPG is really active on YouTube with updates, so I will link their profile below. Next is Nom Nom Cozy Forest Cafe, a casual cooking rhythm game where you'll serve and befriend cute animals in your very own cafe. You'll prepare tasty drinks and dishes to the beat of catchy music and create delightful snacks with your own creative designs. You'll also form friendships with the customers to unlock new foods and decorations for your cafe. Forest Cafe seems like the perfect cozy game for anyone seeking a cafe RPG, and I'm hoping they release a demo someday soon. Up next is Fruit Bus, which has a demo out on Steam right now. Fruit Bus is a wholesome cooking and exploration game where you'll forage for fresh ingredients to prepare in your drivable, customizable food truck. This game seems like it has a perfectly cute and cozy vibe and I love how the game features foraging so that you can explore outside of your food truck and discover new areas like ancient glades and secret groves. I really appreciate the attention to detail in this game, like how you have to drive the bus yourself and go out and collect your own ingredients. Next is Sugar Shack, 
a single-player or co-op maple syrup management game that looks like a game I didn't know I needed. You'll manage your own sugar shack, which is a cozy bed and breakfast in a forest inspired by northern Canada. The shack will start off messy and in need of a cleanup, and you'll of course want to do some decorating too. You'll head out from the B&B to harvest maple sap, pick berries, garden, and more. What really sets this game apart for me is the customizable map. You can literally pick and choose the placement of your map's hexes, affecting the weather, biomes, trees, buildings, and more. The tiles will interact with each other and create new quests, resources, and opportunities to explore. I'll be keeping my eyes on this one as it approaches its release date. Up next is Manita's Kitchen, a casual cooking game where you'll play as a silly little T-Rex named Trexedo, who dreams of being the best pizza maker around. The game currently has a demo on Steam, so you can try out the Dino Pizzeria today. Throughout the game, you'll be accompanied by some helpful dinos who each have their own specialties that reflect in the game's core mechanics. It's not just about pizza pies though, because there's a crime drama narrative too. The Alpa Dino boss hides something mysterious in the basement, and you'll need to discover the truth. Last, we've got Magical Delicacy, which I'm so glad I stumbled across. Magical Delicacy is a platforming cooking game where you'll take on the role of a young witch named Flora that helps the town by cooking the magical dishes, potions, teas, and pastries. You can explore the town of Grata to meet people, purchase ingredients, or go on a search for ingredients to forage. The game features a witchy narrative where you'll meet witches from multiple covens and you'll have to manage the drama between them. As you progress in the game, you'll unlock new kitchen tools, new rooms, a garden to grow plants, and more. Everything I've learned about this game so far has me eagerly awaiting more information, or fingers crossed, a demo. Alrighty, we've made it to the end of today's list. I hope you found a game to look forward to, or maybe even a game you want to pick up and play right after this. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button, maybe even comment your favorite game, and if you want to support me making more content, hit that subscribe button for more. I will see you guys next time. Bye!